So you want to have a fantastic summer, but boy, this COVID thing, right? I know. Well, don't worry. That's why I'm here. Because in this Virtually Rick, how to enjoy yourself as much as you can whilst keeping an eye on the risks of summer fun. Unfortunately, zero risk just doesn't exist, so evaluate how risky you think it's going to be. Experts say the best way to assess the risk of going out is to remember this, time, space, people, place. Which means the more time you spend and closer in space you are with people who might be infected in the place where you are with them determines how much risk you are taking. So, if you're going out, spend less time in one area, choose a bigger space, make sure you keep your distance from people, even if they're your friends, and make sure the place is outdoors. So, here are your summer risks, according to the experts. High to low, super quick. High risk are nightclubs, crowds, bars, and dancing. People are breathing in and out harder. You can dance at home or distanced outside instead. The last thing you should do is be in a small box with hundreds of people up close for hours, where alcohol impairs judgment, which will impact simple things like hand cleaning or touching. Experts say religious services indoors can unfortunately be a significant risk. Singing can be a problem. Projecting air and droplets from your mouth. The solution is people are distanced, numbers are small, and people wear masks. And maybe choose to do it outside. Much better. Medium risk. Weddings with big groups. Outdoor for sure, but it's still going to be hard to social distance. The temptation is just too great for families to cross the line or hug because of emotions and alcohol. Haircuts are medium risk. This is close quarters. They're breathing very close to you. If you both wear masks, then good, but get in and get out. Restaurants indoors are also medium risk. We want to take our time, so there's longer risk for exposure. Get outdoor seating instead. Maybe go with the members of your household to reduce risk even more. Low risk. Meeting up with pals for a gathering outdoors in an open space, keeping socially distanced, well, that's okay. Take your own food and drink so you don't have to share. Day at the pool or beach? Well, most experts agree you can't get COVID from the water because dilution is the solution to pollution. But don't forget to social distance both on the beach and in the water. Beaches are better because they're bigger spaces. But pools mean that kids can get a little too close. What about public restrooms? It depends how clean they are, but generally the risk is low. Don't wait in close line and obviously wash your hands thoroughly afterwards. And how about letting your friend use your bathroom? Well, that's low risk as long as you clean it thoroughly afterwards too. So there you have it. Before you leave home, ask yourself if you're prepared. And remember, time, space, people, place. It could help turn a sucky summer into one of the best you've ever had.